Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me an email. They actually uh, sent me a PDF file of their screenshot. Whenever they draw a rectangle, he called it a, a crazy thick line. Well, that's because that's what you've got it set on. So two ways to do it, you can go down here to your pen tool and double click and hit graphic and then change this to hairline red if you like drawing in a red hairline. And then when you say okay, every shape in a graphic that you draw with now is gonna be in that hairline. Now, I find it a lot easier than hitting the pen tool down here. Sometimes mine reacts slowly, but if I hit the F12 key, it comes up automatically and then hit graphic, change that to a hairline. And this is where you can change everything, but this is your standard uh, hairline. You know, you don't wanna change, you don't wanna have dots. Uh, you want a solid line because you can always change it to dot. But once you say okay, now I would strongly suggest going to tools and save it as default. That way, uh, when you turn Corel off and turn Corel back on, it should go to that hairline. And just like, you know, this, this is a good example. If you can see the bounding box nodes, they're inside the box. That's because if we look at it under wireframe, it's really a hairline. You're drawing in a hairline, but Creole makes it that thick. So no matter, you know, like this is a, you know, looks like a hairline, but if we or go to view and enhance, it's that thick line. It's because, and you can see the bounding boxes inside there. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.